There have been... <laughs> So I'm going crazy. There has been much debate about the functions of the crest, but most scientists have agreed that it helped the... Damn it, Allison! Parasurolophus. <laughs> hey everyone, I am Nate, and welcome back to Planet 1UP. In today's video, we are going to be doing an 8-minute max challenge all about... Dinosaurs! This is Dinosaurs Part 2. We had so many facts from last time that we decided to make another list with all of them. So this whole channel has 16 minutes of pure dinosaur facts. You won't find that on any other YouTube channel unless it's a YouTube channel that exclusively talks about dinosaurs. All right, are we ready? Three, two, go. The smartest dinosaur was about as smart as a modern day ostrich, which isn't that smart at all. A newborn human baby has a large brain, has a larger brain than most adult dinosaurs would have had. While often depicted in the media as slightly larger than the average human, fossil records show that velociraptors were probably no bigger than a turkey. The more scientists, the more scientists uncover well-preserved skeletons of the velociraptor, the more they believe they actually resembled modern-day birds as well. They had colorful feathers and sharp talons, meaning they looked less like massive lizard beasts and more like psychotic chickens. Spielberg wanted Jurassic Park to be an accurate depiction of dinosaurs and their behavior, so they had so they had so he hired paleontologists who served as consultants during the film. Famed paleontologist Jack Horner was used during production to ensure the dinosaurs exhibited scientifically accurate behavior, and Robert T. Backer, also a paleontologist, gave animators information about the dinosaurs' physical characteristics. The first dinosaurs that appeared during the Triassic period 230 million years ago were small and lightweight. Bigger dinosaurs such as the Brachiosaurus and the Triceratops appeared during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. Meat-eating dinosaurs, also known as theropods, which means uh, beast-footed because they had sharp, hooked claws on their toes. In contrast, plant-eating dinosaurs tended to have blunt hooves or toenails. I don't like toenails. Uh, yeah, but anyway. Uh, pterodactyls are not dinosaurs. They were flying reptiles that lived during the age of dinosaurs, but by definition, they do not fall into the same category. Uh, Pterodactylus. Anticus was the first pterosaur species to be named and identified as a flying reptile. Pleosaurs are also not dinosaurs, but marine reptiles that appeared during the Jurassic period. Tyrannosaurus comes from the Greek word meaning tyrant lizard, while the word rex means king in Latin. Ah, oh, my dad's middle name was rex. King? Uh, Tyrannosaurus rex lived in an area of the earth that now makes up Western North America. When Tyrannosaurus rex hit uh, around the age of 14, its body size would have increased rapidly, putting on around 600 kilograms or 1,300 pounds a year um, over the next four years. Because of the lack of concrete evidence, it is difficult for scientists to work out how fast Tyrannosaurus rex could run, with estimates ranging from as low as 17 kilometers per hour to as high as 70 kilometers per hour. Average estimates suggest a max speed of around 40 kilometers an hour. We need more kilometers an hour in that fact. There is a strong debate over whether the Tyrannosaurus rex was a predator or a scavenger. It had small arms which could, which, <laughs> which would have made it hard to grip prey, suggesting it may have been a scavenger. On the other hand, evidence in favor of it being a predator includes its forward pointing eyes, which give it better depth perception and make it easier to hunt. I need to breathe more. The Triceratops is one of the most easily recognizable dinosaurs due to its large body, unique frill, and three horns. It needed its three horns to try and protect itself from the Tyrannosaurus rex, which lived during the same time period. Seropods are a type of dinosaur that typically grew to enormous sizes. Well-known seropods include Diplodocus, Patasaurus, and Brachiosaurus. Why is there so many dinosaur words in this? I wonder why. The name Brachiosaurus comes from Greek words meaning arm and lizard. The name refers to the interesting nature of Brachiosaurus legs, which were longer at the front than at the back. The Brachiosaurus also had a relatively short tail compared to other seropods. An asteroid found in, in the main asteroid belt of the solar system was named after the Brachiosaurus. Even though the T-Rex is well known to have tiny arms, in terms of proportions, it's actually the Caratorus, Carnotaurus that had the smallest arms out of any known dinosaur species. Its arms were so tiny that its fingers didn't even move. That's so weird. It's like arthritis. Um, its arms were so tiny that oh, uh, Carnotaurus also had thick horns above its eyes, a feature unseen in any other carnivorous dinosaurs. The name Carnotaurus means meat-eating bull, referring to these unique horns that are similar to bull horns. The largest known carnivorous dinosaur is the Spinosaurus. It could grow over 15 meters long and weigh over 20 tons. The Spinosaurus lived around 100 million years ago in what is now uh, North Africa. 
Although theropods were enormous, most dinosaurs would have been quite small. Tiny bones are less likely to withstand the test of time, which is why paleontologists tend to discover skeletons of the bigger dinosaurs. The Velociraptors features in Jurassic Park weren't actually Velociraptors, but were based on its much larger relative, the Utah Raptor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that's such a dumb name. Uh, considering that dinosaurs are divided into two groups, the lizard hip uh, Seracians and the bird hip Ornithischians, it's ironic that birds evolved from the lizard hip dinosaurs. Ooh, I find that interesting. Many dinosaurs, like the massive uh, predator Crylophosaurus, <laughs> were well equipped for the cold so that they could live in places like Antarctica. The name Stegosaurus comes from the Greek word Stegos meaning roof and Saurus meaning lizard. It's a roof lizard. Um, Godzilla, the famous monster from the pop cult, uh, from pop culture, was designed using inspiration from three different dinosaurs. Tyrannosaurus rex, Iguanodon, and Stegosaurus. The Iguanodon was the second dinosaur to receive a formal name in 1825. Aldar, the main character in the animated film Dinosaur, is an Iguanodon. The US state of Colorado lists the Stegosaurus as its state dinosaur. Cool. The Albosaurus, Allosaurus, was a carnivorous dinosaur that lived around 150 million years ago in the late Jurassic period. Its name means different lizard. Oh, different lizard. Uh, in 1991, a 95% complete skeleton of an Allosaurus was found in Wyoming, United States. Nicknamed Big Al, the Allosaurus skeleton, along with another skeleton named Big Al 2, greatly helped scientists further the study of the Allosaurus. <sighs> The, herb the herbivorous uh, dinosaur, the herbivore dinosaur, Parasaurolophus, uh, could walk on either two legs or four. Ooh. The, the Parasaurolophus, oh man, comes from a family of dinosaurs known as the Hadrosauridae that are known for having strangely shaped skulls. The Parasaurolophus, damn you Allison, features a crest on its head that forms as, uh, as a long curved pipe pointing backwards from the skull. There have been... <laughs> So I'm going crazy. There has been much debate about the functions of the crest, but most scientists have agreed that it helped the... Damn it, Allison! Parasaurolophus identify male and females, increase hearing ability, and also help regulate body temperature. The... Uh, Danochius uh, is part of the same family of dinosaurs as the Velociraptor. Ah, Velociraptor. Its name means terrible claw, which refers to the large hooked claw found on its hind feet. Studies of the Dano... De, 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 Deonchius... Uh, helped lead to a widely accepted theory that birds descended from dinosaurs. In, 19, in 1858, one of the first almost complete dinosaur skeletons was discovered in New Jersey. What made this discovery special was it was a bipedal dinosaur, meaning one that moved on two legs. Most scientists have previously thought that all dinosaurs moved on all four feet. The discovery dramatically changed the views and led to a huge increase in dinosaur interest among those living in the USA. In 1868, the bones of the Hadrosaurus were used to create the first ever mounted dinosaur skeleton. People... <laughs> People have only been on Earth around 2.5 million years. Dinosaurs lived on Earth for about 160 million years, which is about 64 times longer than the people have been around. You think you're important? You're not. Dinosaurs were here longer. Uh, the newly discovered Hellboy dinosaur in 2015, newly, was given the official name... Regal Ceratops Peter Husey, which means Royal Horned Face. <laughs> followed by the name Peter Hughes, the geologist who discovered it. The dinosaur was a relative of the Triceratops and paleontologists described it as one of the most unique horned dinosaurs ever found. The mass extinction, the mass extinction of the dinosaurs and other animals that took place in took place 65.5 million years ago is known as the Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction Event or the KT Event. Scientists have several theories for the extensive die-off. One theory proposes that small mammals ate dinosaur eggs until the population became unsustainable. Other scientists believe the cause was dinosaur bodies becoming too big for their small brains. <laughs> a great like decimated the population, starvation, or climate change. Oh man, I'm so lightheaded. Wait, yeah, no, that's like 20 seconds over. That's so bad. <laughs> oh man, that was a huge fact. How are the veins in my neck, Allison, and they've not just. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh there were so many words in that. I can feel like my blood pressure through my skull at the moment. What do you think? <laughs> that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you like as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon just down here. <sighs> I'm Nate, this is Panawa and we'll see you all next time. Bye.
If you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out these, as well as head to the channel and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram.